Now we're going to see the troubleshooting of the Forbes Marshall safety relief valve. The troubleshooting is categorized in two halves. One, the safety valve is popping continuously or the steam is leaking continuously or the safety valve is not popping at all. To check the first category, the safety valve is leaking continuously or popping continuously. We have to remove the lever. Remove the circlip. Remove the cap. Loosen the adjustment bolt completely. Once the adjustment bolt is removed, unscrew the locking nut and the locking screw. Use proper tools to remove the body from the main valve seat. Check the spring color coding with respect to the spring range. If the spring range is not suitable, go for the different range spring. Refer to the user manual for the spring color coding. Once this is done, check whether there is any kind of foreign particle deposition between the seat and the head. If so, clean the same with cotton. The third thing to be checked is the orientation or the position of the blowdown ring. The blowdown ring has to be touching the main valve head. It should not leave the main valve head. Ensure that the position is intact and correct. Once these points are checked, reassemble the safety valve. Once it is fully tightened, reset the safety valve, referring to the downstream pressure gauge. The more you tighten the adjustment bolt, more will be the downstream set pressure. The second category is the safety valve not popping at all. In that case, ensure that the adjustment bolt is not tightened fully. Rotate it anti-clockwise to change the downstream set pressure. The second point to be checked is the spring range which is inside the safety valve. Cross-check whether the range is suitable to the process set pressure. This is how one troubleshoots the Forbes Marshall Safety Relief Valve.